What's up, Team Elk Alice? Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys why you snowboard slow, why you're struggling getting speed or just being one of those people that screams past you on the mountain. You're like, I wanna snowboard that fast, what's going on? So we're gonna break down speed in this video. All right, to break it down super duper simple, if you wanna go as fast as you possibly can snowboarding, you literally just got to point your snowboard down the fall line. Now the fall line is if I took a ball and I rolled it down the mountain where it would go, like where the mountain naturally takes it is, is the fall line. But if you do that, you're probably going to be out of control and some fall lines lead into trees. So we don't want to just point down the fall line as well as completely just pointing it. It's kind of dangerous and unsafe. Ah, it's so scary. <laughs> we want to be making turns as well as riding fast. So a lot of you guys are probably S turning and riding down the mountain, but you're like, why am I going slow? And a big reason why is because you have these big smeary peanut buttery turns. So if you are not making a nice thin line behind you, that means you're kind of skidding your turns. And every time you skid a turn, you lose speed. So if you want to turn it on and start riding fast in a section, you need to make sure you're actually carving your board and getting on edge. Now you're not going to be able to get on the edge of your snowboard and snowboard fast you don't have an evolution sticker now the way to get an evolution sticker is they're linked in the description and i've heard you throw the sticker on you're ripping way faster obviously that is a joke but it does support the dream snag an evolution sticker but the real reason why a lot of people are struggling to get on edge is because they are in a bad body position so when we're snowboarding we want to be in a stacked body position shoulders over knees over toes a lot of people are riding with their shoulder completely open. This is the main reason for skidded turns is this wide open shoulder. So if we want to start riding on edge and get better turns, we need to close that lead shoulder. So if you can, maybe have a friend film you on the mountain or just watch you and tell you like, hey, your shoulder is open, that lead one. You need to close it because once you close that lead shoulder, you can really start to get on the edge of your snowboard. Another thing some people are doing that's causing them to have skidded turns or not be able to snowboard fast is they're bending at their waist. You do not want to be riding in this position right here. This is a horrible position. And obviously like snowboard wax is going to help you go faster too, but it's the body positions that matter the most. Now, obviously I can't talk about snowboarding fast or faster without talking about getting comfortable on your snowboard. The more you snowboard, the more comfortable you get on your snowboard and on those edges, the faster you're gonna be able to snowboard. Snowboarding 45 plus miles per hour is scary. I get scared the most snowboarding when I'm going really, really fast. Ah, it's so scary. <laughs> because that's when the chances of big injury, you know, happen. So you need to work your way into being able to snowboard fast. So with all that being said, like even me, a good snowboarder gets scared snowboarding fast because it's scary. You know, I have a comfort zone of how fast I'm comfortable going. Some people might be more comfortable going even faster. Some people are maybe below me when it comes to their comfortability on how fast they go on your snowboard. Now we could get really technical and talk about like snowboard length and other things that can make you snowboard faster on the mountain. But truly when it comes to speed, it comes to your ability. Obviously you don't want to be riding the base of your snowboard, the less of the snowboard that's contacting the snow, the faster you're going to go. So there's a lot of like nuances to it, but for the average person, the people that watch my videos, I know you guys, I know what's probably slowing you guys down. And it's those smeary, buttery, peanut butter, gross turns that we got to get fixed if you want to snowboard faster. Obviously too, a really steep hill is going to make you go really, really fast. Now this was just a quick video to help you guys increase your speed on the mountain. That's actually a really commonly asked question. So ask other questions in the comments below. What else do you guys want to learn? If this video helped you hit the subscribe button. And as always, Team Upcast, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this snowboard channel.